humans are notoriously bad at like telling how good someone is going to be based on like an interview or an application. So I went into that kind of with that in my mind. And I think in, when I was in the process of hiring, I was sort of like, well, maybe the, these candidates are like a six or a seven out of 10. Like they're not exactly what I had in mind, but um, you know, they'd be okay. And, but here's the thing though, I picked the candidate that I thought would do the best job based on, you know, my limited experience with them and just kind of got over myself. And then they have been great. They have been such an asset to our team. They've really communicated well. Um, they have jumped in to software that they never even knew before and gotten familiar with it. And, and really very quickly, just in a matter of a few weeks, they're fully on our ticket desk, ticket desk completely answering all the support tickets, updating all of our client websites with plugins and themes and everything so that my developer and I can refocus our time on projects and on managing them and then not getting caught in the weeds with answering emails and, um, you know, updating software and stuff. So, and they've even gone above and beyond that and been helping us out with um, like creating these new SOPs and they've done a really good job of asking um, lots of questions and helping us like realize where in our workflow things don't make sense and um, creating new processes around that. So yeah, it's been really great. Like that's the outcome that I wanted, which was to have someone that could fully be like our website care plans could just be their thing that they do. And I think very quickly we are approaching that and, you know, can, it, I think the end in the end, we'll just need to have enough processes in place that that care plan, um, manager, which is their job title, the care plan manager can just have lots of confidence that they know exactly what they're doing and um, exactly what's expected. And we're very quickly approaching that. So if what I would say to someone that's sitting on the fence thinking about Team Accelerator, like I would say if you're just like, oh, I don't know. I know I need to hire someone, but I don't know what I want them to do. And I don't know any of that. Like you should do some work, figure out what you want to outsource. But once you know, once you have an idea of like, hey, I want to outsource development or design or, or this specific thing in my business, then totally Team Accelerator makes sense because like delegating is addicting. <laughs> like once you actually start doing it, it's so amazing and freeing. And you realize like, wow, I have extra time in my day that I can like focus on marketing or I can focus on sales or building relationships or doing the things that only I can do or that are really hard to delegate and I'll let this team member, you know, handle the development or whatever it is that you want to hire for. So I would say if you're on the fence, make sure you know what you want to hire for. But if once you know that, like it's a no brainer. That's what I have to say. 